Today, Shaq and Iverson will be racing to see who could score in every 2K first. They'll both start in the first NBA 2K game against an opponent from the same position. The second one of them scores, I'm going to pause both games and advance the person who scored to the next 2K, which means the first player to get to NBA 2K23 and score will be the winner. Put a comment down below who you think is going to win the whole thing and sub to the channel. This took a long time to set up. I had to go buy two versions of every single 2K game and a bunch of different consoles. So yeah, it would mean a lot. All right, let's go. All right, well, here we go. Both of them start on the first NBA 2K game. And now some of these are going to be 5v5 because some of these 2Ks don't have 1v1, but we still have to wait until either AI or Shaq scores for one of them to advance to the next 2K. Oh wait, Shaq's shooting free throws right now. So if he makes one of these, he's moving on. He made the first. We're going to pause it. All right, I just unpaused the games and now both. Oh, now Shaq's moved on to NBA 2K1. And his opponent's Alonzo Morning, but again, it's still 5v5 because the, the street version in 2K1 doesn't really work here. Like you can't select certain players. You have to make substitutions. Shaq down in the paint, throws it down. I got to pause the game again. Shaq's going to take a 2-2K lead on AI. All right, now Shaq's on the NBA 2K2. His opponent is Raptors, Akeem Olajuwon. AI with the ball for three. Oh my, bro, AI, you are <laughs> you are not doing well, bro. This might be AI's chance. AI goes to the basket, lays it, or I guess kind of throws it down, but we're going to pause both games if it let me. There we go. It didn't let me pause the PS2 game because there was an animation. All right, we're back to both games. AI now on 2K1 going up against Vince Carter on the Raptors, who's a 95 overall. Also, I think Shaq was actually a 100 overall on 2K2, but on my game, it says he's a 99, so I don't really know what to do about that. Snow with the ball, kicks it to Iverson. Iverson might go to work here, lays it. Oh, he smoked the lamp, but he got fouled. Here's the free throw for AI. And he makes it. We got to pause both games. All right, and now AI is on NBA 2K2 going up against T-Mac. Jack now working the post. You're on Akeem. Come on, go. Just go up with the ball. Go up with the ball. It keeps like 36 years old and you're in your prime post fade. He got it. All right, we got to pause both games. And now Shaq's on the NBA 2K3, which I don't know if he can rush the camera, but he's already going to score a second in, so we got to move on already. That was quick. Well, here's Shaq going up against KG in a 1v1. Already start off pretty good. Okay, he just keeps blocking his shot, but he's not getting the rebound. KG goes up and puts it in, but I think AI AI just got fouled. AI's going to the free throw line, and KG's still cooking, and we got a pause that AI just scored. All right, we got AI here on 2K3 going up against Kobe, and this is like a 2v2 full court. I was going to explain what it was, but Shaq scored in like three seconds, but Shaq's got the ball here at 2K4. Shaq going to work here in the post. AI might oh, just pull a contested three, and he knocked it down. I got to pause the game. He actually made that. All right, well, now they're both tied here on NBA 2K4. Shaq we're just getting blocked with a pull-up midi. But Shaq's going back to work here in the post, not really getting anything. AI driving to the basket, and he got the shot to go. We got to pause both games. AI takes the lead. Sorry for those lines you see. This is on the original Xbox, so it's a little blurry. All right, well, we're here now with AI and NBA 2K5 going up against Ray Al. So that should be a tough opponent to stop to actually get the ball. And we still got Shaq trying to work here in the post. And he, uh, I don't know what is going on there with Shaq. AI with a three ball. Knocks it down. I got to pause the game. I know it wasn't on camera, but obviously he had the ball and he made the shot. You just couldn't see it. Now we got AI and NBA 2K6. He's in the red going up against Prime Dwayne Wade as a 97 overall. Shaq trying to go to work here in the post. Maybe get position here on KG. He just can't get an angle. He's shooting middies all day. He knocked down that midi. Wow. We now got Shaq in 2K5. He's going up against Jermaine O'Neal, so don't get confused with the last names, but Shaq's the one guarding him. AI trying to make a move. Spin move. Trying oh, he's doing every Moving the book. Shaq with the left. Got it to go. We got to pause both games. All right, now we got Shaq here on 2K6. It may look a little different because this 2K6 on PS2, I looked all over for a 360 version of uh, 2K6 or two of them, obviously, and uh, I could not find two of them. So we're kind of stuck with this. AI driving to the basket. Pull up mini. Got it to go. Okay, we got to pause the game. Yes, I'm aware AI scored twice there at about five seconds. It's the one mental lapse I had the entire video. I apologize. It doesn't change anything. I promise. Enjoy the rest of the video. And now we have AI on to NBA 2K7 where he was a 94 overall going up against Gilbert Arenas. That should be a tough matchup for him. Shaq going with a pull up mid he knocks it down why does he keep making jump shots so now we got Shaq going up against AI or Shaq going against, you know what I mean Shaq going up against Yao Ming and he just made that crazy shot Oh my god, yo, the park on this stuff, the street basketball and these older 2Ks are so crazy, bro. Like, y'all should not be able to do that. AI trying to, oh, oh, AI, oh my god, that was so nasty. What was that? We got to pause both games. I'm still in shock. Well, here's AI and NBA 2K8 moving on from that crazy N1 mixtape move. He's going up against Steve Nash, who's pretty tough in this game. He's a 96 overall. AI's got the ball here, though, and Shaq still, I don't think Shaq's gotten the ball. It's like, Shaq is getting cooked right now. AI with the step back mini knocks it down. We got to pause both games again. It's Shaq. Shaq going to be able to do something before AI takes a 3-2K lead. But now AI's got to go up against Chris Pose, a 99 overall in this game. That's kind of cheese, so yeah, he's going to have a hard time there. Shaq trying to go to the basket on Yao Ming. Nothing really there for him. Jesus, like, what does he do? Shaq posting up. 
Shaq with the dunk. Okay, all right, finally, Shaq. Well, Shaq's really starting to regress now. He's down to an 87 overall, going up against 91 overall, Dwight Howard. This should be a problem. Oh, okay, maybe not. AI drive in, spin move, got position, lays it up and in. We got to pause them both. AI's moving on. And now AI just had a crazy fall off here. He's now down to an 83 overall. Shaq trying to go to work here on Dwight Howard, spinning, doing all that, gaining position with the hook. Oh, Shaq, that, that's terrible, bro. What the, what the hell did Dwight Howard just do? What was that? Shaq working on the post here. Has position. Got it to go. Got to pause both games. Now Shaq's down to an 84 overall. He's playing Chris Bosh, who's at 90. Oh, my God. Shaq going up. Made it. Okay, well, that was quick. Well, now they're both here on 2K10 and both on the back ends of their career, obviously, being 80 overalls. And Iverson finally has another chance with the basketball, so he better score here. And he does. Okay, that was going to get really bad if he was just going to lose the 1v1 to Brandon Roy. And now AI's on to 2K11 where he's facing off against Drake, like the artist Drake. Yeah, he's in this game, so we put him up against him. Let's see if AI can score on Drake. I don't know if that's possible. If we're playing in Drake's league, probably not, though. He'd probably kick him out if he did. Shaq with a little hook. Oh, my. He actually made that. All right, he's moving on to 2K11. And now we have Shaq going up against Snoop Dogg. So we'll see how this goes. Snoop Dogg just busting out the post fade. I don't know why I said busting out, but okay. AI contested midi, and it's in. Wow, I can't believe that went in. Just a note, AI is not an NBA 2K12, so we're skipping 2K12 and going right to 2K13. So on 2K13's black top mode, you had to unlock all the superstar players, but you can only do that with VC, and VC doesn't exist in these games anymore, so we have to play 5-on-5 five five for 2K13. Jack trying to go to work. You're going to the basket, and he throws it down. Finally scores. I don't know how it took him that long to score on Snoop Dogg. Alright, so Iverson's 2K game crashed, which I guess was on great time because now they're both tied at 2K13, so just kind of is what it is. Nobody scored yet, so we're good. And they're both going up against the Lakers. Obviously, AI to Kobe, and then we have Dwight Howard, the Shaq. Shaq down there in the paint, throws it down. He's going to take a lead here on AI. The same thing in 2K13 is the same thing for 2K14. So the black top players, you're doing lock them all. So we're doing 5v5 yet again. And Shaq is going up against Andrew Bynum. I tried to mix it up as much as I could. I want to use the same player to us. I had to do a few times, but Shaq's going to work here on Andrew Bynum, post hook. And that was too easy. Maybe should have chose Andrew Bynum, but I promise AI's opponent is probably just as easy. Fun fact about 2K15 on the black top mode. You can't actually choose sides, so I can't... Not Did he just score in one second? I gotta pause the games. He just scored in one second. Well, up here's 2K16. AD going up against Shaq. AI with the midi. Knocked it down. All right, that, that's gonna help. Now we're on the 2K14 where Iverson's going up against Klay Thompson. Well, here's Shaq with the ball working in the post on AD. Getting real down low with the post fade. And it's in. Wow. And now we're on the 2K17 where you'll expect to see this black top court for the next five years. And Shaq's going up against Prime Boogie. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, okay. Well, he got blocked. And there goes Shaq with the layup. Well, that was really quick. That was a little too easy. And now Shaq's on to the greatest 2K of all time, 2K18. Shaq going down there in the paint, spinning off, going up, and he made that. He really made that. And now Shaq's on the 2K19 where he's facing up against, I believe, 94 overall Giannis. So this, he might give him a little bit of a problem. Shaq working in the post here, getting up on Giannis, spinning... Yeah, this, this, this is just not fair right now. Like, Shaq is scoring every time he touches the ball. Let's see now if Porzingis can hold his own against Shaq here. 2K20, but AI is off on a fast break, and he's going to throw it down. Okay, he just kept himself in this game. And now AI is on the 2K15 where he's facing Jimmy Butler. But now Shaq has the ball, and hopefully Porzingis' height can play some defense. Like, it, this is just insane, bro. The other 2K, Shaq was taking dumb shots. Now Shaq just bully balls everybody. And now Shaq's on the 2K21 where he's facing three-time defensive player of the year, Rudy Gobert. Not going to be much offense there. For okay, Shaq, that's an insane shot. Now, what Gobert can't do here is get blocked and then Shaq gets like an easy dunk or something. Gobert is stalling like crazy. Oh, no, he got blocked and Shaq goes right. I, I literally, what I just said, he cannot get blocked. It goes right up there. That's exactly what happened. Let's see if Jokic can hold off Shaq to give AI enough time to score, but Heron McKee is still on these free throws. Shaq trying to post up here on Jokic. He's like a 95-96 overall. He's trying his best. Yeah, 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 yeah. And okay, well, this is this is just not going well for AI, is it? It's just not going well. Well, Shaq's on his final test. Meanwhile, AI's still stuck in 2K15. This is just, it couldn't have been going worse for him. AI's got to get this ball and score quick. He's got to, oh, AI wide open with the midi. Made it. Okay, hold on. Pause the game. Well, AI's got a puncher's chance. He's going to have to get a stop here on Westbrook and then beat. Okay, well, that's not good. Westbrook doing a little fade there. Missed it. AI and Shaq both have the ball right now. AI driving to the basket, and he made it. We got to pause the games again. And now AI's going up against Steph Curry here. Shaq in the post, pump fake, and this could be for the game. Go! Oh, and B got the steal and throws it down. Okay, he made it, though. Shaq going to the basket, and that's game. That's that's so anticlimactic. Well, Iverson put up a fight, but Shaq is the winner of this video. Subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. Goodbye.